Vegan cat food. Vegan cat food. Oh, come along. You eat it out of the hand. Here's a right here. Look at the can. And I can jump up. Here's a chicken. Maybe this. Would you want to mention it? Yeah, here you go. It's out of the hand. You can't make peace. How many pieces are in there? How many pieces are in there? How many pieces are in there? Here's a chicken. Here's a chicken. Here's a chicken. Here's a chicken. Instagram winning and being on Channel 5 News. I don't even use this to Over here in Lindenburg, New York. It was very good. I just had the chance to, uh, to, uh, really, uh, uh, to, to, to really watch them. Anyway, I was living over with my sister upstairs in her house, and, uh, I really felt sorry for the people in Nassau County. They must have the worst family court system and the Supreme Court system and all the stuff that's going on with the governor and everything up there. I mean, it's, I have no faith at all in anything anymore. It's a political or, uh, with the, uh, the government or anything, I mean, what is that stupid? It really is. I hope all is well with you. And I came back here and used to holiday. I had to open. Select or... Excellent. Are you receiving messages? I don't know. Anyway, I'm calling to give you a compliment, tons of compliments, if this thing is working. Um, my name is Jean Mundy, and um, keep it up. Keep, keep up your, your, your wonderful crusade. Bye. Anyway, are you, does this mean you're taking messages? I don't know. Anyway, I'm calling to give you a compliment, tons of compliments, if this thing is working. Um, my name is Jane Mundy, and um, keep up, keep, keep up your, your, your wonderful crusade. Anyway, are you, does this mean you're taking messages? I don't know. Anyway, I'm calling to give you a compliment, tons of compliments, if this thing is working. Um, my name is Jane Mundy, and um, keep it up. Keep up your, your, your wonderful crusade. Bye. Uh, thank you, Jean Mondy, again. Hi, Wendora. It's Maureen. Happy Monday, Thursday. Maureen Shepard. Um, I just thought I'd get back to you. Turnton, Connecticut. Call me back. Bye. Saved message. Line. Hi, I'm Dora. Listen, I got your phone call, and I really uh, think it's wonderful that I can help, and I'm, I'm going to call up Sharon Green and make sure that um, you know, she's putting that on the air. Time Warner Carlsbad. This is a check for Easter. This message has been deleted. Noah said to all of the animals as they left the ark, two by two, go forth and multiply. He said to the snakes as they left the ark, the two of them, go forth and multiply. And the snake said, we cannot, we are adders. Yesterday at 10.31 a.m., Actually, I think Lot taunted his wife and made her turn around and look at the screen <laughs> so that he could get rid of her. But that's different views, right? <laughs> and 
Anyway, this is Lawrence. I just want to let you know I'm not going to be down here around noon time. I probably won't get down until around 4 or 5 o'clock. And if there's any problem, you're not going to be there. Uh, that is a cat. And it's 4 and 5, 5, 4, 5, 2. Otherwise, I will see you this afternoon. And I hope you're having a wonderful day. Talk to you later. Yesterday at 6, 20 p.m. I still think he did it on purpose. <laughs> I just want to let you know it's like 6.30. I'm running late. I'm going to drive down now and see you and grab that phone. So if you're there and you're listening to this, I'll see you shortly. If you're not there, then you're listening to this later after I was already there. <laughs> hey, either way, I will see you. Bye. That was Lauren, and he did pick up the wood. Press 1. Save this uh, for the church. He's saved. going to redo the church there kitchen. No more saved messages. You have... With my last erg of energy, on Holy Saturday, 2008, I have to show you this moonrise. It's a big one. Holy week is over. Tomorrow is Easter. The resurrection. Nine PM.
Lord. His name is King. Oxygen tank. Hmm? What? Oxygen tank. Oxygen tank. What's that? Yeah. Oh, did huh, George? Do you know who's it? What? I don't know. I don't know who's in there. Do you know what time it is? Hmm? What time is it? Five minutes to ten. Five minutes to ten. It happened about ten up, right? Yeah. Quarter up? Yeah. Oxygen, huh? Somebody oxygen? This is not smell of vision, but not here. It was an oxygen tank.
Adders are snakes. Adders are snakes. James Dixon. James Dixon. Yeah, that's why you don't your hat. You're also on a TV show here. My future's church. We may go around the U.S. and have cold weather today. It's really cold out there. Yeah. Very good to see. And it's so cold that uh, the lawyers have their hands in their own. <laughs> James okay, Dixon. Dixon. Uh, this this message is for Ms. Bondora. Bondora, this is Patrick of Hammy Speaking. And I uh, haven't heard from you in a while. Hopefully, uh, you did the envelope, which I. In any event, um, uh, and I want to wish you and Sam jointly and wishing you a happy Easter and uh, the word is risen. And hopefully, all this will well. Uh, take care of yourself and your three coaches. Pandora, uh, this is Bob. I tried to contact you with your number back up there again, but uh, no answer. It's one afternoon, and we talked about the friends offering books for sale on the internet. And the contact uh, site on the internet would be www.amazon.com and then a slash and shops, S-A-O-P-S, slash F-O-I-L. And all of this in a lower case. So that's www.amazon, so A-M-A-Z-O-N, dot com, slash shops, slash F-O-I-L. Hey, all, area code 203. 20 seconds at 2.55 p.m. That's Jupiter Adders. <laughs> B-D. Well, uh, <clears throat> I missed you on St. Patrick's Day, but happy belated St. Patrick's Day. Um, I missed your last joke again. The last one you left in the last message cut you off right at the joke. And I didn't tell you what the one before it was, because it, it, it just, as soon as you started, it cut you off, and the last one did too. The adder one was great. Okay. So I probably told this one before, but what's Irish? It's the other one. I had your furniture. <laughs> okay. Hope everything's well. But it's been nice of this crazy wind, but it was the sun's been out, so it's clear and beautiful. At least the wind is good, it's blowing all the wind all the way, right? Okay, I'll uh, talk soon. Love you. Bye-bye. Hi, this is Scott. Please call me. 892 1955. That's 892 1955. My name is Scott. Thank you. Yesterday at 9.56 p.m. I just want to say, Lando, we love your show. Keep on going, baby. <laughs> wow. I don't think. Message There are no more. I love you. 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 I Sunrise, sunrise. So I, I wish you a very happy Easter and enjoy our sunshine. Thank you. And it was cool. Glenbora, this is Bob Levitt, returning here for call. Just to review that email address for buying books online for friends of the Richfield Library. That was www.amazon, A-M-A-Z-O-N, just like the river, amazon.com, slash, shops, this is a sugar, H is Henry, O is an Oscar, P is a Peter, as in Sam, and then slash, as a Frank, O as an Oscar, R as in Roger, and L as a library. F O R L, which is Friends of Richfield Library. Connecticut. And it was made of Yacht and Amazon.com slash shops, as in shopping, S A O P S. You can buy books slash through them. L as in you know, uh, library. Books at library, books at books. If you enjoyed that Easter, we went to church with a daughter out in Chicago. Oh, my goodness, I live in Connecticut. We'll go with her, but we went to church out there. She goes out there to Donald, and the music was great. And to the service very much. Mm, nice. Nice time to live. And, uh, let me know, uh, some kind of, what I'm about to see what this is, I guess I'll wait until I get the, That's right. some, uh, media from you. If you get a DVD or a VHS. Yes, we get a DVDs. And then I will take them over to, uh, Dave King over, uh... Shelter Rock Road in Barry. Oh, you get it? Yes, I will right now. Yeah. Hey, it's Billy. I got your messages. Thank you so much for sharing. Billy um, I feel so bad for Billy. I prayed right down there and I'm going to do it again. Please, Jesus, help her heal. Let her heal quickly and safely. Let her be okay in the hospital. Amen. Um, I find to give the song. <laughs> Da 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 Hallelujah. I can't remember it. I'm going to have to um, sing it with some time. I can remember the song from uh, the Life of the Spirit seminar. I want to give it a break. And um, thank you that you sing that song because prior to that, you mentioned Jews for Jesus. And that brought me right back to Life of the Spirit seminar because um, we had a, uh, a concert one night and um, at the Darien High School Auditorium in 
Cemetery in Connecticut. And the Jews for Jesus came to join us for that special concert. And it was also a prayer meeting, too. Um, and they joined us for that. So I, I knew about Jews for Jesus when I was 15 or 16 years old. And that's something that you mentioned that, and they sang the song <laughs> that reminded me of that time of my life also. Um, <clears throat> I think that song is in my songbook uh, from then, and I used to play it on guitar in the group for the prayer meetings. So I'm going to take the book out, and I wish I saved your message, but I re erased it. Maybe you can call back and sing it again, and I'll know the and then I'll learn it on the guitar. Do you have a book? I just don't know how the melody is sung. I could see the chords are there for the chords like, on the guitar. I know chords. And there's that door. What are you doing? Go inside. Glendora is on the phone. Well, she's on the phone. <laughs> and Glendora is on the phone. Okay. Um, Check but dog. praying for Lori and uh, that she has a speedy Winston, Connecticut. healing recovery. And here's something you might want to try out. It's coast to coast. I think you listen to. Um, they call it collective consciousness leave. I don't know what they call it, but what they do is when there's a, a trouble somewhere or someone needs help, they ask you one day because they believe that, you know, there's strength in numbers. The more people that pay, um, the more it'll happen and the quicker it'll happen. And they pay for a lot of things and they come to, um, you know, it's a national show. You don't say, well, they do say pray, but a lot of things they say to pray or, you know, meditate or whatever you do for your beliefs uh, to, you know, help the people in Louisiana, you know, when they had a flood and a hurricane and pray to bring rain to Georgia because they're in a drought and things like that. Um, so maybe you can do that on your show. Well, I know you do it already, I guess. But um, for Lori and ask everyone to uh, pray for her. Ask the Lord to heal her, uh, have speedy, quick recovery, and um, do something. And I can't believe the friction of her ring set it off. Maybe it was uh, static uh, with between her and her rings and whatever else she touched. I bet that's a bit, um, <clears throat> because that oxygen is extremely flammable, and probably more than gasoline fumes, I think. And I think helium's the most flammable. Is it helium? Yeah, I remember Hindenburg went up. So, um, okay, um, just glad that she's alive and okay, other than her hands and her legs, the poor thing. And, um, boy, that's something. I still can't believe that. Um, was it her mother? It was her mother. Sure it wasn't her mother. It was her mother. Her mother. Her mother. Her mother. Her mother. For breathing, so. Okay. Yeah, and I would like to come sometime, but, you know, I'm busy here doing things, and I just don't have the time. Um... Every second and third Tuesday is the Native American stuff when Dave picks me up for that. That's in Springfield, Mass. And then the other Tuesdays, um, I'm down in Stanford, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, all you know, three days in a row. Um, when I have the Native American stuff, I just drive down there afterwards. So um, otherwise, I go down earlier on Tuesday and help my cousin because uh, my grandmother's getting, you know, really slow. She needs a lot of help now. But um, other than that, everything is great. The snow's melted, and the warmer weather's on the way, and I hear the birds, so that means it's definitely here. Spring is here, and it's wonderful. And I hope you're doing well, and your kitties and everybody there, and I love you, and I'll talk to you soon. Um, probably come up and visit you soon on a weekend, uh, Saturday or Sunday. Uh, very soon coming here. Um, the weather's getting warm, so it'll definitely be a nice drive, and um, I'll have to set some time aside before I went, but I could try Sundays. Um, I'll skip it. I don't know when, but soon. Um, I'll have to just think of, uh, think of a day and just pick a date and let the guys know in advance. You know, that's why I'm not going to say this Sunday. There's a guy's in his band. No, I have to let them band. know at least a week prior, I figure, is, is good enough uh, to give them. So, um, and I want to do it too when they're, you know, in agreement with it because we're, we're practicing and we got to get a lot of songs learned here soon. We have a gig again pretty soon and it's more money for me. <laughs> um, and that's about it. So, um, Dave says hi. And that's David Johnson. Sorry that you were mad at him, but there's nothing he can do about it. He said, he goes, I, I don't even call my own mother and tell her. And he said, I just am so busy. At the end of the night, I go home. I, I take 
my phone off, I plug it into the charger, I don't even think that there might even be a message, and I just go right to bed. He said, I usually get her messages a day or two later. So, um, he said, and then when I want to call her back, I always think that it's too late. And I told him repeatedly that you're just calling a voicemail. It doesn't matter what time of day you call it. Any, any of the 24 hours would be fine. <laughs> so, maybe he'll call you soon. Okay, I love you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye, Billy D. Thank you. Write Billy. the message. Press 1. To save this message and... Hi, Ms. Glendora. This is Paul from the Mount Vernon TV studio. Uh, we had spoken about two weeks ago, and uh, we had a great conversation, as always. You know, I'd love to talk to you. I just want to let you know, as for, as for our conversation, you asked me to... That's the number of VHS tapes that I have here. VHS tapes. And get back to you. I have exactly 35 tapes. Thank you, Paul. I believe I have roughly one, two, three, four, five... 16, which should be about 7 8. Um, if I'm not mistaken, um, I just wanted to give you that heads up because I think posted, send it right down, and I'll have these uh, VHS and sent up and make a nice little stack for QA2 with them. And um, if you want to wish you well, hope you're having uh, a good time with it. And I look forward to speaking to you soon. Okay, take care. Bye. Paul, you've always been so nice over these years. Good afternoon. This is Melissa Weston. I guess I just missed you. I am I'm aiming at being at your place somewhere between 7.30 and 8 o'clock this evening. I hope it's not too late, but I'll, I'll call you when I have a better, a closer idea of when exactly I'll be there. Okay? Hope to see you then. See you later. Bye-bye. 59 p.m. Hello, Glendora. I think I'm about 15 minutes away. So I hope to see you before 8.30. In a while. Goodbye. And make it she did, folks. And she brought a book. And she taught me about the Holy Spirit. And it's extremely helpful and stimulating. And that was on Wednesday, March the 26th. And then she looked around for the Bible, and here it was sitting right here. And then she found Matthew passage, and she read that to me. She's a Seventh-day Adventist. They really know what they're talking about. And she had the answer, what is the Holy Spirit? And to bring you up to date what is going on in God's world. At this slice, uh, we made a shake. The most delicious shake there is, a thick shake. Uh, cashews, oatmeal, pineapple juice, and bananas. And it is so invigorating. And we started the titles yesterday, and we did the first four half-hour programs. And we made eight VHS of those four programs, and we made eight DVDs. And we've just finished the dailies, so now we will start... Um, this morning on the second a group of four programs making eight VHS and eight DVDs I couldn't figure out why I couldn't get a video signal, a DVD-A, the bottom one. And I couldn't get a video signal from DVD-B. But the other ones worked. And so, I went and I put it down in the joy book. Then I went back and 
did what came it was the video input and you had to use the remote and you had to use setup and we got it we got our DVD signals uh, thank you Stephanie and thank you Dave's case.